What is up you guys? Good morning. It is almost noon. Are you gonna let me go or what? Thank you. My neighbors are nice. Good morning you guys. It is 11 15 in the morning. 11 12. Sorry my bad. Um, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Laxmi. Welcome. Welcome. Um, today I'm gonna be filming a little bit of a different type of video. One of you guys suggested for me to do a video of me doing my makeup in my car and I thought it was a very brilliant idea. So I am on my way to Starbucks right now to pick up some coffee. You know what, do I wanna go to Starbucks and pick up coffee? No, I don't because I actually make coffee. So I'm not gonna stop at Starbucks. I actually live right next door to a Starbucks, so I do have easy access to it, but not today not today anyway um as you have seen on the title of this video today i'm gonna be filming a video of me doing my everyday minimalistic makeup in my car i'm not gonna do it as i drive because i am not irresponsible like that i'm gonna wait until i get to work um let me fix you guys i feel like you guys are like a little tilted i don't know i'm gonna wait until i get to work I'm gonna park outside and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. Um, I like the idea of this kind of video. Um, when I first read the suggestion, I was like, do I make it in my, in my car? And then I looked up some videos and most of the videos is somebody else driving and then you doing your makeup on the passenger seat. But in my case, that's not realistic because I'm pretty much the only person who drives my car aside from my boyfriend. And we both work every day. <laughs> so it's not like he can drive while I do my makeup. It doesn't make any sense. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna actually, like I said, drive to work, chit chat with you guys a little bit, do my makeup when I get there. And then yes, luckily for me today, I go into work at 11.45 which sucks because it usually means that I work Saturdays <laughs> when I have to um, have half a day, but it does give me the time to sort of wake up without having to have an alarm go off in my ear. It gives me time to just, you know, get a nice bath in in the morning and do my regular morning routine, make breakfast and all that stuff. Did I make breakfast today? No, but you know, don't worry about that. Worry about your credit score. Anyway, how have you guys been? I know it's been a while. I know that I am not posting as much as I would like. I don't want to keep making excuses for you guys because it's just, you know, it, it sucks. But I just have been lacking motivation. If I'm being honest, I've been lacking motivation. I've just been getting submerged into like the busy life of a mother and an employee. And I've just, I don't know, I've stopped doing what I love which is making my videos and posting videos for you guys and I want to stop that I do have a plan I have a plan in motion I'm not gonna talk about it because I realize that every single time that I talk about something it gets jinxed like have you guys realized that I don't know if I don't I don't understand it because people say that if you speak things into existence if you speak them out loud you're speaking them into existence you're manifesting these things and things are gonna happen but I realize that every time I talk about a project or every time I talk about a plan and I say it out loud it gets jinxed so I'm not doing that anymore I don't know I feel like manifesting works the opposite way for me for me I can't talk about it and it comes to pass so that's what I'm gonna end up doing um, Another thing, if you guys see that the, you know, the camera or the quality or the phone is shaking too much, I apologize. I got you guys on a magnetic mount and I'm driving and the streets here are not the best. So just bear with me. Um, this is where I usually put my phone for when I'm doing, um, like when I'm using the GPS. But I think at some point I'm gonna switch the phone to this side because I don't know if I like this angle. I feel like I can't look towards you guys as much as I would like. So let me see if I can flip you guys real quick. There we go, it's, it's still shaky. <laughs> like I said, I apologize. The streets here in Pennsylvania are not the best. They are not the best. So I 
apologize. It's not my fault. It's not me. It's not me. Um, anyway, yes. So I am going to try really, really hard to just put my plan into motion and get things done the way I want to get them done. I'm not going to talk too much about it because, like I said, it always gets jinxed. But it's a coming. Let me fix you guys. It's a coming. Um, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. How have you guys been? What have you guys been up to? How are you guys? I want to know which state you guys live in right now. And how is like COVID? How is like quarantining? Like, are you guys done quarantining? Are you guys still under lockdown? Um, I'm in PA. The numbers here are starting to rise again. I was uh, reading the newspaper, or not reading the newspaper, but like reading the news today, this morning. And it says that the numbers the number of cases have tripled so far this week um, in this area. And I am like shooketh because we were doing so well. And I think really that's how it happens. I think that because we start doing so well, then people start getting crazy and acting like COVID is gone for good. And then they start acting buck wild like they used to. And things just come right back. I think that's what's really going on, but I don't know. But, Anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking me about my Miami vlog and my DR vlog. They have been filmed. I am in the process of editing both vlogs, but it is days worth of footage. Like just the one for Dominican Republic alone is a day's worth of footage of me filming every single day for a few hours of that day. So you guys know it's gonna take me a hot minute to like finish editing the videos completely please bear with me i know you guys want to see i'm dying for you guys to see the funny clips and all that fun stuff that we did um but it's gonna take me some time it's gonna take me some time to i, I don't know if i have you guys tilted if i have you guys i don't know what's going on but whatever it's gonna take me some time to um edit and post the dr vlog will most definitely be two parts maybe three if I feel like things are getting out of hand because I don't want to wait too long to post it but I also don't want to post like a two hour long video because that's unrealistic that's unrealistic I wouldn't want you guys to waste two two hours of your day sitting down on the couch watching a full video like no I'll give you guys you know maybe 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes and you know whatever but anyway yes those are coming also, I need you guys to please go on the comments right now as this video is rolling. Go on the comments right now and leave me some video ideas, video recommendations. This is mainly one of the reasons why I feel so unmotivated and uninspired um, to film videos because I just don't know what you guys want to see from me. And I feel like I get some suggestions here and there, but it's just always the same stuff. And I want to give you guys different things. Like, I know you guys love my Amazon favorite videos, which I am going to be bringing back. Um, I just had an issue with Amazon, and I had to I had to fix that. That's a video for another day because it's messy. But I will be bringing those back very soon. I do want to keep filming my monthly favorite videos because you guys seem to like those a lot. And you guys also like Q&As. But... The issue here is that I also want to bring you guys different things because other people complain about me being very repetitive and just filming the same thing over and over and over again. So I want to bring you guys different stuff. So please let me know, aside from my monthly favorites, my Amazon favorite videos, my haul videos, and my Q&As, what other kind of content you guys want to see? I know you guys want to see cooking videos. I got you guys. I'm gonna be starting a segment on my channel called Excited to Cook because I'm always excited to cook and we are the Excited Squad. I did film my first one. I'm almost done editing that video and I'm gonna have it up soon for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a lot of cooking videos. <laughs> but yes, let me know what other kind of stuff you guys wanna see. I just pulled up to work. I'm gonna find a parking spot that has good lighting because I want you guys to look at the makeup that I am going to be using today. This is not using today. Not just using today. This is the makeup that I use every every time I do my makeup just to do my makeup just to go out and run errands and just look cute and put together 
but not in an exaggerated way pretty much this is the makeup that I use and I cannot tell you I can't even park today do I know how to park do I know how to drive what's going on lax what's going on lax you good oh it's because that parking thing is yeah I'm blaming the parking spot it's not me it's the parking spot anyway yes i'm gonna probably bring you guys up to the front give me one second Alrighty, there have you guys front and center i'm gonna take off this ring because um my hands get really dirty when i do my makeup so yes i think we have good lighting right we have good lighting so as i was saying i want to bring you guys more um sorry no as i was saying this is the makeup that I use every, this is my everyday makeup look. My everyday makeup look is very simple, is very minimalistic, is very, you know, to the point, barely any effort. And I found a brand that really just touches all those points and then goes above and beyond by making things so simple and providing me with like great quality products. First things first, this is my little travel bag. This is where I keep my makeup. This is really cute. It has fuzz bunny. Sorry, you guys. I literally keep this in my car. This is my every single day travel makeup bag. And in here, I keep every single one of my makeup products that I use. And this cute little bag I actually got from the brand Merit Beauty. I'm sorry. I'm taking off the little dust bunnies. Look how cute this bag is, first of all. I think it's so cute. You go ahead and you just make a little tie right here and there you go what okay merit okay merit okay all right so i'm gonna put it on my lap just because this is how i do my makeup i just you know sit down somewhere and i just start playing with it so i want to talk to you guys about merit beauty really quickly i um found out about this brand and found out about all the great things that this brand does First of all, Merit Beauty is very minimalistic. It's literally all about minimalistic beauty. It's minimalistic makeup. It's vegan, cruelty-free. I cannot explain to you guys how easy these products are to use. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the process because I don't wanna take too long because I do have to be at work in a few minutes. Um, actually, 20 minutes to be exact. I'm gonna start off with this product right here. This is the Merit Beauty Perfecting Complexion Stick. And this one is in the shade Amber. As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can even see that. But I'm gonna leave the shades of the product that I'm using down below. And this is basically like their foundation stick, but it's not really foundation, but it is. But I want you guys to look at this really quickly because this is what sort of like trips me. This Look how cute this is, first of all. Super, super cute. I use it all the time. Like, I kid you not, I use it all the time. I want you guys to look at how well this shade matches my skin tone. You ready? You ready? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I do that, I have to put SPF on. You guys know? You guys know my favorite SPF, Super Goop. I'm going to be using the on-screen sunscreen. This one is the one that's mattifying. And this one is an SPF 40. I already put my moisturizer and I already did my skincare. I'm just going to apply my SPF because SPF is a must. If you guys see me looking to the side, not here, but here, it's because I am filming on my phone, of course, as I love to do often, and I'm using the screen as my mirror, so, yeah. How nice, how nice. I love it. So I'm gonna go in with my Merit Beauty um, Amber Shade. I don't really always apply a primer um, under this makeup because I feel like that uh, SPF is really I don't know because this mattifying is such a really good primer and I like it so I just do that but watch okay I don't even have to blend that in I don't even have to blend that in okay 
this is literally almost my, like my exact shade which is so creepy i usually don't even use that much product because a little bit really does go a long way i just like to like accentuate the areas that i know need coverage just to like even out my skin tone and i like to bring it down here a little bit because a lot of mistakes that people make is that they don't bring their makeup down to like their neck they just do like the face and then it looks like you have careta and i don't like careta okay careta is like mask like a like a mask and i don't i don't like the look of that next i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite tools and this is the only this is pretty much the only tool that I use to do my makeup when I'm doing this everyday quick makeup. And it's going to be this right here. And it's a little bit dirty because, of course, I use it every day. This is the Merit um, brush. I don't know if it has a specific name. If it does, I'm going to leave it somewhere on the screen. But this little brush I use for my foundation. I use for my concealer. I use for my blush. I use for my highlight. Like, they provide you with just everything you need in one. And this brush is everything you need in one. Look how cute. Oh, it's just so yummy how quickly and easily you can blend this in. There's nothing better than finding like clean makeup because this is what Merit is, it's like clean beauty. You find clean makeup that is just so easy to use. Like I really just don't even have to make an effort. I don't even have to make an effort. Like it just works. Look at that. I lowered the brightness a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. Like I love it. It's everything I ever wanted in makeup. Literally everything I ever wanted in makeup was clean makeup, easy to use, travel friendly. I took this makeup to Dominican Republic. I took this makeup to Miami. Like when I say everyday makeup, I mean everyday makeup. Righty, so the next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in with the um, highlight stick. It's the same thing, it's the complexion stick, but I got it in the shade lighter so that I could use it on uh, like under my eyes or like in places on my face where I would like to accentuate brightness. This one is in the shade khaki. And again, is the perfecting complexion stick. And I just go ahead and add that like right here just to like brightening like brighten up my under eye i don't know why my phone got a little dark but i hope it, it didn't get dark on you guys and then i'm gonna go ahead and put it there i'm gonna put some here i'm gonna put some down like my nose this is usually how i like highlight and some right there and I usually use the brush for this step, but because I realized that I brought one of my little sponges, I'm going to go ahead and use my sponge just because I don't want, um, I usually have this thing that I use to clean off the excess makeup from the brush, but I didn't bring it today. I don't know why. I don't know. Where did I, did I wash it? I think I rinsed it off and I let it to like air dry and I forgot I didn't bring it. This is just a regular sponge that I found at um, Marshall's in a in a cup. It was like a big, it was a jar. It was like a big plastic jar full of these. And they had like different ones like this. And they are amazing. They feel like beauty blenders. I feel like beauty blenders right now are like overrated because you can find so many great sponges for a fraction of the price. That jar that I found had eight sponges different sizes different shapes all the same amazing feel and i only paid seven dollars for that jar and they had such cute little designs they were all like in these like tones like the tans neutral nudes um and seven dollars so they were literally like less than a dollar each because i got eight it was eight in a jar. What? 
and then the beauty blenders are twenty dollars for no reason like don't even get me started let me make sure that i'm looking at myself right oh my god i just feel like this makes my face look like porcelain like do you guys see that like i look like a doll oh i love this freaking makeup I love this makeup. It's just, I love it. I love it so, so much. I'm craving tacos today for lunch. There's this place near where I work. It's called La Placita. And they have the best authentic Mexican tacos. And I don't know why I say Mexican tacos because the tacos are Mexican, period. But you know what I mean. Um, they have the best authentic tacos made by mexicans the right way now with the cheese on top and all that extra stuff like it's just the tortilla the meat cilantro and cebolla and then like salsa verde like that's it that's it i make some of the best tacos you will ever have in your life but i don't make them traditionally like i don't make the traditional mexican tacos every single time like i make them different i will add you know the sour cream the cheese and this or that just because i like to uh, just switch it up but forever forever my favorite is going to be the traditional mexican way of making tacos which is just the tortilla the meat cilantro and um, onions and then you know the extra stuff like maybe guac and whatever sauce you want to put on top tacos are very simple People just like to add extra stuff just to amp it up a little bit, but yes. All right, so listen, the face is looking right. The face is looking tight. Let's go ahead and ignore my lashes because I had lash extensions and I'm just letting them fall one by one because I do want to give my eyes a break from lashes. And I just want to, I just, I just want to let them just you know and i don't go to the salon to get them removed because the last time that i went to the salon to get them removed they ended up convincing me of not getting them removed and i ended up getting a new set we're not doing that right now i want to give myself a break from all the extra stuff so i'm just letting them fall so don't worry about my lashes worry about your income streams anyway okay so i'm done doing my highlight i usually like to set under my eye with some powder just so it doesn't crease and it doesn't matter if a makeup claims to be crease proof it will crease on me just because i am oily so yeah i'm gonna go in with this powder this one is the juvia's place setting powder in the shade white sand i believe it is i only use a tiny little bit just because i don't want to do too much I just like to set so it doesn't crease, just to protect my own makeup from my own oils, if that makes any sense. And then I blend that in and just sort of like diffuse it. Voila, cute. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my brows just to keep them, you know, in place. And I have this uh, brow, what is it called? This is the Volumizing Pomade, a brow pomade. And it comes in a tube like this, which is super cute and gold. And again, by Merit, because that's what we're talking about today, Merit Beauty. And look how cute it is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my brows just to like make them, you know, stay in place and look extra defined and extra pretty because I feel like the brows is legit what like frames your face. Like the brows is what makes the face. I don't know what, I don't know about you, but to me, if your brow is not bold, your face is looking whack. You better, you better do something about yourself because we don't got time for that. We don't got time for that. Next, I'm gonna move on to blush. And this is the Mary Beauty uh, Cheek Color in the shade Mood. I love this because all I have to do is this literally i just tap it on right it might look like a lot now but hold up hold up i'm gonna go in with the brush which i love to do and i'm just gonna go ahead and buff this beautiful maroon oh 
mind you it looks like a strong color but it's really not and you see how perfect it blends into the skin it's like butter it's like butter and my face just look natural like i don't look exaggerated i don't look like i have a bunch of cake on my face like i look put together um wow I, you know what i use this makeup every day and i feel like i still can't get over how nice it looks I love it I love it I love it I can't get enough of it I love it uh, so next I'm gonna go in with the highlight just to give myself a little bit of a glow this one is the Mary Beauty um, highlighting balm that's what it's called it's a highlighting balm and this one is in the shade bounce super freaking gorgeous it's a subtle glow but it's all you need it's minimalistic it's you know I'm here to shine, but go ahead and do you. Don't worry about me type of glow. Okay. Super beautiful. Super easy to use. Like. Oh my gosh. You know what? I don't want to sound conceited. I don't want to sound conceited. But when you find the makeup that just makes sense. And it's just time friendly. And just you friendly. Like there's no better feeling no better feeling to finish up i'm gonna go ahead and use this product right here this is the married beauty um tinted lip oil i actually have a lot more of these i bought all the other ones because i ended up falling in love with this one this is my favorite shade this is the shade marrakesh um i think that's how you pronounce it marrakesh i don't know marrakesh but um yes such a delicious lip oil look how beautiful this shade is you guys so so pretty i'm gonna go ahead and use you guys as a mirror mm. oh so buttery ah! i love it i love it so buttery so beautiful lastly Lastly, I thought it was my lips, but it's not. I'm going to go ahead and just try to, like, do something with my lashes, at least my bottom ones. This is the Mary Beauty Mascara, and this is in the shade Perfect Black. The actual name of it is the Lengthening Mascara, and love the packaging. Mary, Mary does the most, to say the least. Like, they do, they do the most barely. 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 So I'm gonna go ahead and just do my bottom lashes really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this mirror because I don't wanna mess up my makeup. And whatever three strands of lashes that I have left are gonna get some of this mascara because this mascara is freaking awesome. There we go. That's it. I'm done. I am done. I am done. Anyway, that concludes this video. I know this video was a little bit all over the place and very random, but one of you guys suggested it and I wanted to go ahead and do it just because I thought it was going to be fun and just something different, which I did enjoy. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends. Go check out Mary Beauty. I'm going to leave their link down below. You guys have to check out this brand. They do sell them at Sephora and you can also buy all of their products online. I honestly cannot live without this makeup anymore. Like it is my go-to. It is my go-to and I have it with with me all the time and i love it i love it i can't say enough thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment letting me know what you guys want to see next and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye